Are we late on this? Yes, yes we are. And there's a good reason for that, but you probably don't care. You just want to see PocketNow's review of the LG G2. Well, the first step in the process is to take it out of its box, so let's get to it. I'm Michael Fisher, this is PocketNow, and this is the unboxing of the LG G2. Okay, so this is the global edition of the LG G2. The company informs us that software on this device is not final, uh, and we uh, should expect some carrier variants in the future, and those will come pretty much as soon as, they're, uh, as soon as they're available. So we'll be following up with this, but this is the box. You can see this little kind of overbite here. An interesting little design touch that doesn't look like much, but it's, it's subtle and it's nice. There's nothing else on the outside of the box. We'll pluck the top off to find the expected device. Front and center, as I like to say, we pull the tab instead of manipulating the edges with our non-existent fingernails. We're gonna put the device aside for a second, pluck out the top here, see what we've got in the way of documentation. There's Quad Beat 2 premium earphones. Those are gonna be fun to try out. You guys wanna see what's inside this pouch? I bet you do. If I don't open this, there will be a comment asking why I didn't open this. So here's what they look like. <laughs> it's kind of funky. Uh, the LG brand, let's see if we can get a little zoom on there. The LG branding on the sides with that uh, radial machined pattern there, moiré almost. Uh, the same kind of buds we're used to, extra buds in the bag. Probably some kind of throat control here, yeah, or at least a microphone. Are there buttons on that sucker? Doesn't look like it. Oh, here's the buttons, okay. So, we'll check those out in the uh, full review. Let's get back to a wide shot here. And of course, the USB cable we've come to expect. Nothing else in the box. And here is the G2 itself. Now, we were at the New York City launch event for this device. We've already had some hands-on time with it. Uh, this one is covered in plastic, which means we get to do the fun stuff. And that means getting the mic right up close to the screen protector while we peel it right off for the first time. It looks like we are going to be the first ones on this demo device. That's good. Here we go. Beautiful thing. And one more time on the back. And we got some other films there and things that we will uh, we will go ahead and take off on our own time. But here's the device. It is familiar to us. We spent a lot of time with the uh, white ones on the demo floor in New York. This is the, the darker version, obviously. First things that you notice are the volume up and volume down keys and their unique positioning on the back cover rather than on the sides, which allows LG to get some very nice minimal bezel action on the front and no buttons on the front whatsoever from a hardware perspective. And above those special volume and navigation keys, the camera, 13 megapixels with flash and optical image stabilization. And it is bulgeless. No crater or wart needed to uh, house the machinery for that optical image stabilization. We come back around to the front. We'll go ahead and power on the unit while we're talking here, if we can do that. There's also a ring light around this LI, um, around this power standby key, and I wonder if it will light up. Maybe it won't on this power up. There's the LG boot screen. This display and notification light cycling through a test pattern up there. Hello, LG. Why don't I move the mic back so that you guys can hear me a little bit better? Sorry, I do often forget to do that. There's our first boot. Here's our screen. This screen is... Yeah, that's creepy. This screen is uh, really amazing. It is an IPS display. It's 5.2 inches, 1080p, uh, giving a pixel resolution of uh, pixel density of 423 ppi, which is pretty incredible in person. We said that at the launch event. Uh, we said we weren't necessarily in love with the uh, the build quality, the feel in hand. It's not bad. It's just you know what we're used to from. <laughs> generations of Samsung products and some LG ones, uh, but we'll go into some more detail on that in the full review and in the comparison. So we'll go ahead and power the screen back on and tell you about the uh, processor powering all that again. I'm gonna go ahead and show that again because I will need those reminders when manipulating LG's Android UI here. And the last thing we'll cover in this unboxing will be to tell you about the processor, a Snapdragon 800 processor. That is uh, obviously quad core and running at 2.26 gigahertz. We'll see how that performs in our series of features coming up. But for now, that is the LG G2 that we are about to give the full treatment to. 
Folks, one of the big reasons we were late unboxing and reviewing the G2 is because of IFA 2013, so check out the link in the description below to see all of our videos and features from that trade show. A lot of smartphones and tablets, some of them from LG. So check that out. Also, like this video if you did enjoy it, and follow us on social media, of course, and leave a comment down below if you have some feedback. In the meantime, stay tuned for a lot more coverage on the G2 and every other smartphone out there, as usual. This has been Michael with Pocket Now. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.